Thank you, LaRob. And welcome to Introductions, WFMT's feature of the finest pre-college classical musicians in the Chicago area. I'm Robbie Ellis, and I'm here in the Faye and Daniel Levin Performance Studio at WFMT this morning with 17-year-old viola soloist Nazi Shahid. By the way, we are also live streaming this on WFMT's YouTube and Facebook pages. Nazee Shahid hails from the Woodlawn neighborhood of Chicago. He plays viola and studies with Desiree Rustrat. He studies music at Merritt School of Music and Chamber Music at the New Music School. And he's also a, an inaugural founding fellow of Chicago Musical Pathways Initiative, a training pathway for talented orchestral musicians from underrepresented backgrounds. He also reached the semifinals of the most recent Sphinx competition in Detroit. Today he's chosen to play some Nuevo Tango by Astor Piazzolla, an extended solo piece by American violist and composer Nokutula Nguyenyama, and the first movement of Bela Bartok's Viola Concerto. But first of all is some J.S. Bach. Here are three movements from his cello suite number two in D minor, the prelude Saraband and Gigue. Nazi Shahid is live on Introductions. Mm-hmm. 
selections from a Bach cello suite, the suite number two in D minor, transposed up an octave for viola. You heard the prelude Saraband and Gigue, played by 17-year-old Nazi Shahid, and he joins me at the microphone now. Hello, Nazi. Welcome back to Introductions. Thank you for having me. I say welcome back. We have featured you in the past as a member of the Sprezzatura Quartet, which we'll get back to. Uh, but going to the Bach that you just played, you've told me that you feel this piece has a bit of an autumn feel to it. Do you want to elaborate on that? Um, yes. So I feel like when I play this piece, um, it because of the D minor key, it gives a feeling of walking through like uh, a park with autumn leaves, or um, I don't know. It's very. It has a very like a very September October kind of feel. Well, thank you for your seasonally appropriate programming there. Uh, so I understand that you come from a, fam a large -ish family with a good number of musicians in it. That's correct. Yeah. Um, I have uh, three other siblings. All three uh, are musicians. And uh, occasionally, from time to time, we play together um, and uh, arrange like pop songs and uh, pieces that we like uh, that aren't necessarily arranged for uh, our instrumentation. And we play them together. So. And what instrumentation is that? Um, my, v uh, I have two. Well, there's a cellist. All of my uh, other siblings play viola, uh, and then one of them also switched uh, to viola, like I did. So. Okay, so y you have multiple members of your family who started on violin, as did you. Yes. Switched to viola. What? Uh, I I know that you've played both and made the decision relatively recently to concentrate on viola. What prompted that? Well, um, I've always liked the sound of the viola. Oh, um, so do I. Yes. Oh, so do I. It's the supreme instrument, in my opinion, but, you know, that I'm biased. Opinions are allowed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but to start uh, with the Spresatura, I switched back and forth between vi viola and violin because we didn't have a real violist uh, in the quartet. Um, and I began to really take a liking to the instrument. And when we went on our trip to France, um, I kind of, I think that's when I really switched to becoming like, okay, I think I'm going to, I'm going to be a violist instead of um, a violinist. Well, yeah, let's, let's talk about the Sprezzatura Quartet because you have been on a show with that group. Um, coached by your teacher, Desiree Rustrat. how long have you been studying with her? Uh, about two-ish, two, two years or so. Um, she was, uh, we had a trial lesson with her right before the pandemic hit, and the pandemic hit, <laughs> and m all of my lessons were virtual. Um, but I think one of the good things about Desiree is that she is very good at hearing everything over Zoom. It's kind of crazy, because um, I would be playing, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's over Zoom, it's fine. But she she's very good at hearing everything, and uh, she definitely helped me uh, improve technically throughout the, those times, so I really appreciate her for that. Well, we have some microphones slightly better quality than the average laptop here. Glad to have you in the Levin today. Uh, you've just played some Bach. Later on, you'll be playing uh, music by Inguinyama and Bartok. But uh, would you introduce the next piece that you're going to play? Uh, yes. The next piece I will be playing is called Oblivion by Piazzolla. Um, it was written um, for a play or a movie, rather, called uh, Enrico IV. Um, and it's about a guy who goes... Uh, crazy, basically, um, thinking he's a holy Roman emperor. Um, but this piece has a lot of very dark and um, very touching um, melodies, and it's it's very touching to me as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Nazi Shahid, 17 years old from Chicago, with the music Some Nuevo Tango by Astor Piazzolla. He's joined by Liang Yu Wang on piano, playing live from the Fei and Daniel Levin Performance Studio this morning on introductions. Thank you. 
That was Oblivion, a piece written by Astor Piazzolla for the Italian cinema for the film Henry IV or Enrico IV, uh, about a man who descends into madness and believes he is the ruler of the Holy Roman Empire in the 11th century. The performers were 17-year-old Nazi Shahid on viola and Liang Yu Wang on piano. And you're listening to a live episode of Introductions here in the Faye and Daniel Levin Performance Studio. The studio is back open and back in business post-COVID. We are bringing in guests for live from WFMT, which starts up again this Monday night. Also, impromptu and folk stage and introductions, maybe you on introductions. I'm always looking for new pre-college performers. So to audition, to find all the details, go to wfmt.com slash introductions, fill in a few things, send some videos if you're playing, and I'll get back to you. Coming up is the Sonoran Storm of Nokotula Nguyenyama and the first movement of Bela Bartok's Viola Concerto. You're listening to Classical WFMT. Introductions is sponsored by John Norwood Lee Bowes, serving the Chicago area for more than 40 years. Introductions is also made possible through the generous support of the Nagorni Foundation, the Kippart Family Foundation, the Steve and Dolores Sarovich Foundation, and the listener supporters of Classical WFMT. I'm Robbie Ellis, and I'm here today with Nazi Shahid, 17 years old, a homeschooled senior from Chicago's Woodlawn neighborhood, and today's featured soloist on viola. He's a student of Desiree Roostrat, also studies at Merritt School of Music, New Music School, and is a member of Chicago Musical Pathways Initiative, or a fellow, I should say. Nazi is at the mic with me now, and we mentioned before that you've uh, been on the show, uh, not live, but pre-recorded, with the Sprezzatura Quartet. So uh, you were with that group for a, a decent long while, and you had a very intense time together. You want to tell us a bit, a bit more about that? Uh, sure. So that was my first competitive quartet. Um, uh, originally, we uh, started out as a uh, just a group to you know to play through things, but uh, our teacher put us together so that we could do more competitive work as well. Um, so we got a lot of opportunities and we played through a lot of competitions and placed in a couple of them. Um, and we also got the op opportunity to go to France. Uh, to a festival where my teacher's uh, ensemble placed at. And we had a lot of fun, but it was also very rigorous because we were going all over the place, playing throughout different venues in France, and uh, there was a very great deal of practicing involved. So And some very full days. Yes. Wha what was that, like two, three weeks or something? Uh, yeah, it was, about, it was about two weeks. Yeah. About two weeks. And you are also one of the OG fellows of Chicago Musical Pathways Initiative. Uh, we've featured many performers from CMPI on the show. It's been around since 2019. Uh, tell me more about CMPI. Uh, yeah, so CMPI, uh, Chicago Musical Pathways Initiative, uh, they are a organization that aids um, young musicians who are aiming to be uh, musicians uh, in a, at a collegiate level and beyond. Uh, they aim to uh, help them get into college and um, just learn more about how to, um, how getting performance experience and um, they also have um, a, f a few M master classes, yes, opportunities. Master classes. Yeah, and some, some financial support as well uh, for, for certain players. Uh, at any given time, I think there may be a hundred fellows or something from around the Chicago area, and you've been you've, you're part of the inaugural co cohort since 2019. Um, yes, yeah, some, some great people. We I talk with them often about oh yes, who should I be getting on my show? <laughs> and your name did come up. Uh, on to our next music. So uh, I understand you learned this piece in a hurry, but it's. I, I, it's so it's so delightful. I'm just going to preface it by saying it's so delightful. Uh, Nokotula Nguyenyama is the composer. You want to tell me more about the piece? Um, well, this piece is original. Is about um, a desert storm, um, and it has a lot of very rhythmic uh, kind of uh, drum-like um, parts throughout the piece, and um, it's really fun, but also very difficult to play, and. Uh, 
I think it has like uh, this is kind of irrelevant, but it kind of has like a red color to me. So. Oh yeah, yeah. you you see uh, you see color. Are you a bit of a synesthe synesthesia? Yeah. Yes, you okay. see colors with music. Well, yes, Sonoran Storm is the title, uh, evoking the Sonoran Desert in the southwest of the United States, so in northern Mexico. Nazi Shahid, thank you very much. I'll let you get set up for that. The music of Nokotula Inguinyama, violist and composer here on Introductions, Sonoran Storm, performed by 17-year-old Nazi Shahid. Thank you. 
composed by the American violist and composer Nokutula Ingwenyama. She won the Primrose competition when she was just 16, got into composition as well. Uh, a piece called Sonoran Storm, evoking a desert landscape from the southwest of the United States. You're listening to Alive Introductions on Classical WFMT. Nazi Shahid this week. And next week, Shiv Shankar Prasad with a piano recital. He'll be playing Rachmaninoff, Beethoven, Mendelssohn, and Daniel Poor. And of course, we have plenty more programming coming up for introductions. Some of Chicago's finest young performers. They're here every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on Classical WFMT. Nazi Shahid joins me at the microphone once more. And I always love talking about the interests of uh, the performers outside music. I've had robotics, I've had Rubik's Cubes, I've had economics clubs. You are the first birder I have had on the program. Please tell me all about birding slash bird watching. Um, yeah, so um, I find it very peaceful. It's kind of like my, uh, my, my safe hobby, I guess, if you, if you will. Um, uh, I enjoy just like walking through nature and um, it gives me like a kind of quest of sorts uh, while I'm out there. And uh, I think one of my favorite parts about birding is, um, I don't know, just the whole exploration part. You get to see stuff uh, from all over the place, depending on like the time of the year. Um, and um, yeah, I just really enjoy it overall. So you, are there any birds that you particularly have on your list that you haven't seen yet. I'm sure you've got quite a big yes, list. Yeah. I, do. Um, I would like to see um, a great gray owl. They don't live here, so I would probably have to go elsewhere to see them. Um, also, uh, well, a lot of them are. I have a lot of owls on my list because they're one of my favorite birds. Um, but outside of that, I think I would like to go and see, um, what is the name of the, it's a kind of eagle that I'm blanking on right now, but it lives um, way north. Anyway, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on that. Not in the Chicago, no. this eagle's not in the Chicago area. That's correct. But for, for people who have never birded before, wh wh what's a good place in the Chicago area to get started? I mean, I'm, I'm a basic north sider. I know of Montrose Point. I'm sure there are other places. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Montrose Point is a good one, though. Yeah? Uh, yeah, it's one of, one of the best. Um, a lot of the parks um, and forest preserves in Chicago are really nice. Uh, I would recommend Eggers Grove, even though it is a little bit close to Indiana. Um, they have a lot of different, um, a lot of, a lot of nature there. So, um, and a lot of uh, different um, environments to a degree. A lot, a lot of different uh, landscapes, landscapes and landscape types yes. in a small area. Yes. Good to know. Eggers Grove. That's All right. right. Uh, so you're currently a high school senior and you're in that tedious process of applications and auditions. And uh, you've told me that you want to split studying music and other subjects. What other subjects were you thinking of? Um, well, music related, uh, I would like to look at audio engineering and uh, compo composition because I do uh, both of those to a very amateur degree, um, but I'm working on it. Um, and also biology, I think, um, of that, those three things are probably my main things outside of viola performance. So audio engineering, are you, are, are you doing any audio engineering at the moment? Yeah. Uh, kind of, sort of. I'm kind of, I'm working towards it. I'm like figuring out, like watching YouTube videos, seeing how it's, how it's done. I haven't actually really done anything yet, but um, I'm learning about it. There is a long trodden career path of very talented instrumentalists who discover they can make more money <laughs> by becoming <laughs> an audio engineer. Yeah. So a little bit of advice for your future career <laughs> if you so choose. Uh, but speaking of college auditions, I'm sure that this next piece is turning up in them and many violists college auditions. Uh, what are you gonna finish your recital with? Um, I'm going to end with the Bartok Viola Concerto, the first movement. Um, it is a piece that Bartok wrote right before he died. So there are a lot of really uh, deathly and kind of crying out for help moments in there. And um, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Nazi Shahid, 17 years old, joined by Liang Yuang on piano. 
the first movement of Béla Bartók's Viola Concerto on introductions. Thank <laughs> you. 
the first movement of Bela Bartok's Viola Concerto. The viola soloist was 17-year-old Nazi Shahid of Chicago's Woodlawn neighborhood, and he was joined by Liang Yuwang on piano. Nazi is a student of Desiree Rustrat. He attends both Merritt School of Music and New Music School, and he's a fellow of Chicago Musical Pathways Initiative. That's it for today's live introductions here in the Faye and Daniel Levin Performance Studio at WFMT. The audio engineer was Eric Arunas. The video producer was Ella Pinsloop. Ella, welcome to the company. And we had assistance from our Andrew Patner fellow, Fatima Dabba. You can watch the video back at any time on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash introductions WFMT and follow us there for more great young local performers. I'll be back in coming weeks for more of the same, the Chicago area's finest young classical musicians, every Saturday at 11 a.m. on Classical WFMT. My name is Robbie Ellis. Thank you very much.